Hello, Gary Crowley here with DoItYourselfJointPainRelief.com and this is video two of five videos on symphysis pubis dysfunction, otherwise known as SPD, otherwise known as diastasis symphysis pubis, but basically you have a painful pubic bone and you want to get rid of it. So I'm here to show you how to do that. Uh, video one, we explain generally uh, what we're going to do and um, here in video two, we're going to get to work on these big, strong muscle groups in the in the backs of uh, of your hips uh, and I just want to show you this chart again again we got three bones uh, that make up your pelvis your sacrum and basically your two hip bones and in the back here all these muscles all your glutes all those hip rotators and everything out here that attach to your hip bone and you know attach to your sacrum here if any of these are really inappropriately tight, especially because they're big, strong muscle groups generally, they can be torquing this bone out of position, yanking it up or down or to the front or to the back, and making that pubic bone not line up right and make it painful for you. So, uh, for any of you who've watched uh, any of my other videos on my website, you know I'm a big fan of releasing muscles, especially in your hips, uh, with a tennis ball, especially if you're on the floor, a tennis ball is good. Uh, this table has a little bit too much give and the tennis ball gets kind of lost in there. So on this table I tend to use this uh, little girl softball uh, for like 8 or 10 year old girls this thing is. Um, and if I'm, uh, if I'm in my own bed watching a movie and want to work on my hip a little bit, I will uh, use a, a softball because again even in a mattress it gets lost even more. So you can use a tennis ball on the floor if you want. or you know, do the best you can, but you'll find if you go to Sports Authority or something and get a tennis ball, a little, this is kind of a squishy baseball basically, and maybe a softball, you play around, you'll find different different spots, different balls fit better in different spots. So um, the first muscle we're going to work on is um, your tensor fascia lata muscle. And basically, um, that, that muscle is right basically where your belt goes on the outermost side of your of your hip. So um, basically here's my the top of my femur, top of my hip bone. Here's the you can feel the top very top of your your hip bone and right between the top of your femur and the top of your hip bone is that muscle your tensor fascia lata. Now this muscle is easy enough to access that if you if you even through your clothes but if you sneak in a little bit I'll do it outside of my clothes but you can grab that and you can press on it a little bit yourself. You can lie on your side and kind of dig on that a little bit. Do that press pull release technique that I like to show you. But honestly, for all these hip muscles, I tend to like these uh, getting in there with some type of sports ball. So what I do is I lay on my side. And again, uh, as I say on my website and on my, on my home page and on my techniques page, um, Healthy tissue does not hurt when you press on it. Okay, so what we want to find is all the tissue that unfortunately hurts when you press on it because that means it's, it's short and stuck and tight and we need to release it. So I'm on this tensor fascia lata muscle and it's actually a little tight on me. And uh, generally my right hip, I just know it tends to be a little bit tighter. Um, and so what I do is I put enough body weight on it, basically as much as I can relax into. Uh, you don't want to torture yourself so things are too painful, but I can feel that, um, but it's not too traumatizing to my brain. And then with that ball pressing into that one tight spot, I'm going to make that tissue that the ball is pressing into move a little bit by moving my leg up and down. You don't want to roll across the ball. You don't want the ball rolling across the tissue trying to release it because your cerebellum at the top of your brain stem that controls all the settings for these muscles doesn't understand that. It understands when you press on something that's tight and then you make it move and you make it function a little bit, that's when your brain goes, oh, I better release that. So that just let go a little bit. And again, I'm not terribly tight in this area, I'm a little bit. But you'll feel it basically becomes less painful with the same amount of pressure. That's how you know it's let go. And then, so that's still my tensor fascia lata, a little bit there, a little bit there. And then again, in you, because everybody's a little different the way they use their body, one side will probably be tighter than the other, and you'll be more or less tight here, someone else will be tighter here, or here, or in these other places. So what we're doing, because you're not in my 
you're not in my office, um, we're just going to investigate around. And let's see, this one, actually see this side's not, a little tight there, but not much at all. And I just know my body, I know my right side tends to be tighter. But if this muscle's tight, it can basically be yanking down on this hip bone, yanking it down and, and torquing that torquing that pubic bone out of position. I don't know if you saw me do that and I was standing up. But you can, you can basically, from up here, it can be yanking down, which would make that pubic bone go up a little bit. And if it's trying to heal, that's going to be very difficult. So now we're going to get in all these big hip rotators here. So here's my tailbone. Here's my head of my femur. Here's my hip bone. All this stuff in here um, is what we're going to be aiming at. And some people... You know, want me to show them exactly, they want me to, you know, get down to my shorts and show you exactly where I'm putting this ball. But basically, I'm putting it here and then it doesn't in a certain way matter where I'm putting it. It matters that you get in here and you feel where you're tight. So I tend to start at the bottom, um, you know, between. So here's that bone you feel when you, when you sit down, that's your sits bone. And then over here is my tailbone. I, kinda, I tend to kind of... Scooch in between those two, start at the bottom. Not too tight there, not too tight there. But I get up, let's see. Because this hip is, yeah, see I get there. And that, that spot's tight. And I always want to blame my computer. Because I spend too much time on my computer doing these videos and doing my website. But uh, it's probably a little bit of everything. Probably a little bit of whatever workout I'm deciding to do at the moment. But that, see now that was tight and pretty painful when I first started laying down on it. But I laid on it, I relaxed into it, but then I made it function and now it doesn't actually hurt at all to lay on this. So once I get that, I move to another spot. I scoot that ball up a little bit. And again, I'm investigating here. Where's a, okay, so there's a good spot for me. Again, because it's painful and I got to scoot to get there, there. There's a, I'm kind of maximizing the the basically the, the painfulness at the level that I can relax into and then again it's also because my I do this a lot uh, my body knows um, oh he's doing this thing again we better just let the tissue go because he doesn't go away unless we release so if you if you're doing something that is making this tissue tight driving a lot computing a lot uh, doing a lot of squats or something um, you will you will get better and better at releasing this so that, that that's basically that whole this whole side I just went from here all the way up I just investigated all the way around I was a little tight up there um, which makes sense because that's a little hard to stretch and uh, now the other side you got to do the same thing um, and I won't bore you with the doing both sides too much but you got to investigate around see here I'm a little I'm tighter a little lower here I'm tight kind of almost right at the bottom where I would start and that's tight but I get up here where I was tight on the other side and I'm not tight here at all so I would spend a few minutes here releasing that it's already starting to go but I'm not going to waste too much of your time but again this ball is pressed I find a tight spot that ball presses right into that tight spot and then I make that tissue move by moving my leg or doing whatever but the ball is not doing that it's on the tight spot that muscle under that tight spot is being forced to function and then when it lets go it doesn't hurt as much and you can either put a little more body weight on there to help release it or um, you can go to another spot and then come back around later with you know a little more body weight and, and this is a a bit of a skill learning how to roll around on a ball and finding these tight spots but you'll pick it up pretty quickly um, so there so we've done the tensor fascia lata muscle on the side here um, and we've basically done all these hip muscles on both sides and now if those were really tight um, they're going to help that that pubic bone come together if, if, they, if before they were being yanked out of position from the back now they can come together nicely that pubic bone can that pubic symphysis can come together the way it ideally would be if this was the main cause and and either be pain free right away which happens to a lot of people, or at least be on its way to healing now that it can finally relax into the position it wants to be. So that's video um, two of five. 
and um, uh, you can don't have to go to video three right away do this a little bit but uh, either way I'll see you at video three and thanks for your time bye bye